and welcome to another video, and in this video I'm going to be talking about Hong Kong and why I think the island of Hong Kong should still be British. And already, my dear viewer, you're probably thinking, oh man, he doesn't have any evidence to back him up, he just wants to reincarnate the British Empire as it used to be. No, I don't. Well, I, would I? I don't know. But um, but no, there's actually logical reasoning and democratic liberal principles behind why I think Hong Kong should still be British. Um, bit of context, 1857, uh, Second Opium War, or was it the first? I don't know, one of them. Uh, how many Opium Wars there were. Um, Britain declared war on China and, um, and won. Uh, and they, one of their winning things was they got to have the islands of Hong Kong, which was a bunch of islands. I think there's one main island and a few minor ones um, off the coast of around South China, that area. Um, and they kind of developed these islands over the years to come from 1857 onwards. And when, and they kind of, like in the modern era from the, uh, the um, communist Chinese revolution onwards, it was kind of, um, you know, China, Hong Kong developed into like a mega city, a uh, sky, skyscrapes galore, and China was kind of, it was like North Korea and South Korea, East Berlin, West Berlin, um, until recently, when China, you know, started communism, as in capitalism, but we're going to put a hammer and sickle on it, um, and yeah, and they've had their whole industrial population boom. Well, they've always had a population boom. Anyway, on to the point. Um, the point is, uh, seven days ago, around about, a man, China, um, trying to extradite a man from Hong Kong. Now, extradite, if you don't know, is when uh, a nation takes a person outside of another nation into their nation so that that person can face the nations uh, that took the person out of the nation. So, yeah, sorry. That wasn't explained very well. An extradition is when... Uh, I'm, I'm just going to tell you. Okay. So there was a man in Hong Kong. He committed a crime. And then China, the Chinese court system, took the man out of... Well, is trying to take the man out of Hong Kong to face the Chinese court system. Which is corrupt and abuses almost every human rights law under the sun. And, I mean, I don't know about you, but I kind of like human rights. They're just a tad. They're quite nice. Um, so, yeah, that happened. Bit of a bad thing. For the guy. Poor guy. Well, no, I probably shouldn't feel sorry for him. He committed a bit of a bad crime. But anyway, the thing is, he's a Hong Konger. I love that word. Right up there with a Glaswegian. Anyway, Hong Konger. So he should be facing the Hong Kong court system. And a bit more context. Uh, where was I? Uh, first Open War, 1857. Uh, yes. So Britain took the islands. And Britain, and in the agreement, Britain was allowed to have the islands for 99 years. 99 whole years, Britain, the Union Jack, waved over these islands and statues of Queen Victoria galore. Um, and so 1997, they had to give them back. Which, you know, boohoo. There goes Hong Kong. Back to the Chinese. Um, and the deal they kind of signed to giving it back was a one nation, one country, two systems idea. So Hong Kong is part of China, but it had its own parliament and it had its own court system, and it had its own flag, uh, and I think you can be a Hong Kong citizen. Is it kind of like Catalonia? I think Catalonia has a parliament, don't they? Or is that just like a state? But I don't know, it's a bit like Catalonia. I don't know enough about Catalonia. Don't use that analogy, unless you want to, then go for it. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, where was I? Ah, that's right. Um, Catalonia, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. So he's trying to be extradited by the Chinese to face the Chinese court. Abuses human rights. So pretty much what's going to happen is if he does face the Chinese courts, which are completely corrupt, he's going to be sentenced to death or sentenced to a labour camp. Or, I don't know, shot by an, by an anti-aircraft gun or something. There's something terrible. And the deal was signed that China would respect Hong Kong's democratic rights, democratic freedoms, human rights, human freedoms, their court system, their parliament system, everything that Hong Kong had that was given to them by Britain, China had to respect that. And what China's doing is they're not respecting that at all. They're breaking the deal they signed, which is terrible. Absolutely disgusting. So in all honesty, 
Hong Kong should still be British.